When stocks fall, many investors panic, while others see it as a chance to buy company shares at a reduced price and buy the dip. In this video, we'll see what it means to buy the dip, some things to think about before investing and related methods like dollar cost averaging. Investing in the stock market can be a roller coaster of emotions. One moment, stocks are soaring and investors are feeling confident, and the next moment, the market takes a turn for the worse and the stocks are in free fall. It's during these times that some investors panic and sell off their stocks, while others see it as an opportunity to buy the dip. So what does it mean to buy the dip? Simply put, buying the dip refers to purchasing stocks when they are at a low point, with the expectation that their value will eventually increase. Investors who adopt this strategy believe that even strong companies may experience temporary dips in their stock price. But over the long term, the stock price will recover and potentially even grow. Before investing in a stock, there are several considerations that an investor should take into account. Firstly, it's important to understand why the stock price has fallen. In some cases, the dip may be due to a company-specific issue, such as poor earnings or a management shakeup. In other cases, the dip may be due to market-wide concerns, such as economic uncertainty or geopolitical tensions. Once the reason for the dip has been identified, the next step is to determine if the company is still fundamentally strong. This means looking at the company's financials, including revenue, earnings, and cash flow. The investor should also consider the company's competitive position and its future growth prospects. Another factor to consider is the company's valuation. While a stock may appear to be cheap at first glance, it's important to determine if it's actually undervalued based on its earnings, revenue, and other financial metrics. There are also several strategies that investors can employ to help mitigate risk when buying the dip. One such strategy is dollar cost averaging. This involves investing a fixed amount of money into a stock at regular intervals, regardless of the stock's price. By doing this, the investor is able to average out their cost basis, meaning that they can buy more shares when the stock price is low and fewer shares when the stock price is high. Value investing is a popular investment strategy that involves buying stocks that are considered to be undervalued compared to their intrinsic value. The goal of value investing is to purchase stocks that are selling at a discount to their true worth with the expectation that the market will eventually recognize the stock's true value and drive the stock price up. Value investors typically focus on a company's financial metrics, such as its price-to-earnings ratio, price-to-book ratio, and dividend yield, to identify undervalued stocks. They also look for companies with strong fundamentals, such as consistent earnings growth, a solid balance sheet, and a competitive advantage in their respective industry. Value investing is often considered a long-term investment strategy, as it can take time for the market to recognize a stock's true value. Additionally, value investing requires a certain level of patience, as it's possible for a stock to remain undervalued for an extended period of time. Growth investing is another popular investment strategy that involves investing in companies that are expected to grow at a faster rate than the overall market. Growth investors typically focus on companies with high revenue growth, earnings growth, and expanding market share. Growth investors are willing to pay a premium for stocks with strong growth prospects, as they believe that the potential for future growth will eventually drive the stock price higher. They tend to have a higher risk tolerance, as growth stocks can be more volatile than value stocks. Growth investors often focus on industries that are expected to grow rapidly, such as technology, healthcare, and consumer goods. They also tend to invest in smaller up-and-coming companies, as these companies have a greater potential for growth compared to larger, more established companies. It's important to note that growth investing can be a high-risk, high-reward strategy, and investors need to be comfortable with the potential for short-term volatility. Additionally, growth stocks can be more susceptible to market downturns, so it's important to have a diversified portfolio and to consider both the short-term and long-term risks and rewards of any investment. Momentum investing is a popular investment strategy that involves buying stocks that have recently outperformed the market, with the expectation that their momentum will continue. Momentum investors believe that stocks that have been rising in price are likely to continue to rise, while stocks that have been falling in price are likely to continue to fall. Momentum investing is based on the idea that stocks tend to move in trends, and that these trends can persist for an extended period of time. Momentum investors use a variety of technical analysis tools, such as moving averages and trend lines, to identify stocks that are in an uptrend. They also consider a stock's relative strength with a measure of how a stock has performed compared to the overall market. It's important to note that momentum investing can be a high-risk, high-reward strategy, and that momentum stocks can be more volatile than the overall market. 
Additionally, momentum investing requires a high level of discipline, as it's important to exit a position if the momentum of a stock begins to wane. Income divesting is also a popular investment strategy that involves investing in stocks that pay high dividends, with the goal of generating regular income from the investment. Income investors are focused on generating income from their investments, rather than capital appreciation. Income investors typically focus on the stocks that pay a high dividend yield, which is the amount of dividends paid per share divided by the stock price. They also consider a company's dividend history, looking for stocks that have a history of consistently paying dividends and increasing their dividend payouts over time. Income investors tend to invest in stable, blue-chip companies that are well-established and have a strong financial track record. They also consider a company's dividend coverage, which is a measure of how well a company can cover its dividend payments with its earnings. It's important to note that income investing can be a lower risk, lower return strategy compared to other investment strategies, as income stocks tend to be less volatile than growth or momentum stocks. Additionally, income stocks may be more susceptible to changes in interest rates, as rising interest rates can reduce the demand for income generating investments. Index investing is a passive investment strategy that involves investing in a market index, such as the S&P 500, rather than individual stocks. Index investors aim to match the performance of the market index, rather than trying to outperform it. Index investing is based on the idea that it's difficult for individual investors to outperform the market over the long term, as the market reflects the collective wisdom of all investors. By investing in a market index, index investors can participate in the overall performance of the market, without having to pick individual stocks. Index investing is often considered a low-cost investment strategy, as index funds typically have lower expense ratios compared to actively managed funds. It's also a relatively low risk strategy, as the performance of an index is diversified across many stocks, reducing the risk of a major loss from a single stock. Contrarian investing is an investment strategy that involves going against the crowd and investing in stocks that are out of favor with the market. Contrarian investors believe that the market often overreacts to news and events, creating opportunities to buy stocks at a discount. Contrarian investors look for stocks that have been underperforming the market, and consider factors such as the company's financial metrics and its growth prospects to determine if the stock is undervalued. They are often willing to take a long-term perspective, as it can take time for the market to recognize the true value of a stock. Contrarian investing can be a high-risk, high-reward strategy as it requires a high level of conviction and a willingness to go against the trend. Contrarian investing requires a long-term perspective, as it can take time for the market to recognize the true value of a stock. Buying the dip can be a viable strategy for investors who are willing to take a long-term perspective and are comfortable with some level of risk. However, before investing, it's important to carefully consider the reasons for the dip, the company's financials and the stock's valuation. Additionally, investors can employ strategies like dollar cost averaging to help mitigate risk and build a diversified portfolio. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. Subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you with another interesting video.